So this box back behind me is the We Create Vision Laser. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this box. This box is the We Create Fume Purifier, and I'll let you in on a little secret. It really sucks, but that's a good thing. So let's get started. So one of the ways I know that lasers, particularly diode lasers, have permeated the world is that on an almost daily basis these days, I get an email from somebody saying, hey, I've got a diode laser, I live in an apartment, and I gotta get rid of the smoke, what do I do? So the obvious answer to this question is you buy yourself a fume extractor, fume purifier, and you're done. Except it's not that easy. There's a very wide range of pricing for, for these purifiers, and there's also a, a equally wide set of capabilities that, that they provide. So you know, you can certainly go to Amazon and you can buy something for a hundred dollars and say, hey, I'm finished. Those are not really good purifiers. At best, they're a single stage, basically a piece of, of fuzzy material that sits in front of the, the intake. And they really don't filter out anything. They certainly don't filter out anything that's toxic and you don't want those. By contrast, this We Create Fume Purifier is at the higher end. It's a multi-stage and this will filter out almost anything that you can throw at it. So we'll talk about that. The other thing I want to do is talk a bit about some of the, some of the caveats because there are some with any air purifier and we'll, we'll cover those. But along the way, I'll also create a, a little project that is the stinkiest, smokiest project I can think of. And we'll put it in front of this fume purifier and we'll see what the air smells like coming out. Now, what you get in the box is pretty much everything you need, including a remote, which is nice. Now, not shown here is also two extra pre-filters. That's the top filter that takes the brunt of the pollutants. Let's take a peek inside. We can pop the, the two clasps on the sides of the lid and, and lift the lid off. Now, inside the lid, there's a very nice seal that seals on top of all the filters. First filter is, is that pre-filter. Uh, it's the one that takes most of, the, most of the punishment. The second filter, this middle medium filter, is more like a, like a HEPA filter. And then uh, at the bottom is a very big filter. It's basically full of activated charcoal. And then inside the box there, you can see there's just a fan that sucks air through all of those filters. And it seems to work really well. Setup's really easy. Plug the power cord into the wall, put this included nozzle on the top, and then mount that hose. Clamp it on, do the same thing at the laser end, and you're ready to go. So power it on. You're gonna see the fan speed here in percentage, and you can adjust that. You can also control the time set, so you can turn it off after a given number of hours. And finally, you can toggle between the two settings. One is the fan speed, and the other one tells you how many minutes the filter has, has been sucking air. So very easy to use, and all we have to do now is create a little job that's gonna make lots of smoke to give this a good test. I created a simple project here. It's just a bunch of vertical lines very close together, 100% power, three millimeters a second, so it's going very slow. And you can see the job here, uh, definitely fire potential. So I'm hovering just off camera to make sure this doesn't burn my shop down. Uh, you can see the smoke here uh, as I zoomed in and it's being sucked immediately out of the laser. Now there is a fan in the back of the, of the We Create Vision, but it has nowhere near this capacity. The air purifier is sitting at about 70% speed, so it's working really well. And then just for fun, I decided to look at this pre-filter, which was new when I started. And you can see how much smoke it took out just in the very first layer of the filter. Now, before you rush out and buy one of these air purifiers, we create or otherwise, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that's the filters themselves. These filters are consumable, which means you have to keep buying them and there's a running cost associated with that. So I brought up the pricing for the WeCreate filter set, which I believe is reasonably priced compared to other, other filters I've seen. You can see the pre-filter, which you have to replace every two months at, at the most, is about $10 a piece. The, it, the middle filter, which is that HEPA filter, it's about $40 and that's six to eight months and then i believe the 119 dollars price here is for the activated charcoal filter at the bottom the big one and uh that one is 119 now i'll verify that price because it isn't clear from the description here that that's what that's for assume that you're going to have a couple of hundred dollars a year running cost for any of these air purifiers so you have to keep that in mind. And this is why when people ask me and I get asked a lot, what do I, how do I vent my laser? How do I get rid of the fumes? My inevitable go-to answer is vent outside if you possibly can. 
And it's not because I think we, it would be great to pollute the, the air. I say this because there is this running cost. And if you've got a couple of hundred dollars uh, allocated for this every year to run, to change filters, great. But it's something you should only do if you have to. Now, I know there are people who live in an apartment or have a workshop in a basement where they just can't vent outside. Then you have no choice. And, and this is a perfect option. This We Create uh, air purifier is great for that sort of thing. And I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanna pick one of these up and uh, you know it will solve your problem if you have no other way to solve it. So with that, we can wind down and I'll say get out there, make your world and I'll see you next time.